In crime shows, you always see police officers promise a lesser sentence in exchange for a guilty plea. This happens in real life too, except only prosecutors have the actual authority to do so. You have to remember, prosecutors are lawyers for the state, not you. Also, as part of the investigation, police officers will question you and try to intimidate you to incriminate yourself, which is why I always recommend to plead not guilty from the very beginning. Because even if you're innocent, you shouldn't try to explain yourself as your words will be twisted against you in court. Let's define some of these legal terms. Before trial, an affidavit can prove your side of the story. What's an affidavit, you might ask? It's a sworn statement made by a person having first-hand knowledge of an event in your case, like a bystander or a witness, which can prove your innocence. Also, before trial, a judge may require people or documents to be turned in or be present in court to be used as evidence. This court order is called a subpoena. And finally, a guilty plea is a contract where you and the state negotiate how much your punishment is reduced in exchange for your guilty plea. This makes the state's job much easier, which is why you never have to accept their plea. But the main benefit to you is to limit the risk of a much higher punishment at trial if a jury finds you guilty. These are the basic legal terms in a pending criminal investigation. You need to use all of these pieces strategically to get the best result. Give me a call today and we'll set up a game plan for your case.